So you might be trying to figure out how you can play Call of Duty Mobile on your you know, iPad via your Xbox controller. Now, it's actually a very, very basic process and it really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your iPad just like this and you want to go and make your way over to your iPad settings. So go and hop out of this specific panel. So go and hop out of this specific panel and all you're going to want to do is make your way over to your iPad settings. Now, when you're here, all you're going to want to do is click on Bluetooth and then you will come into this panel. Now, in this case, I'm just going to forget this device. But what we're going to be able to do is once you're on this panel, you want to hold down on your Xbox specific controller. You want to hold down a few buttons. You want to hold down the Xbox home button right here. And you want to hold down the share button that's right up here, right next to this USB-C charger. So all we're going to want to do is hold down these two buttons. And then you want to give it a couple seconds. So when you start seeing this thing blink like this, you want to go ahead and basically make your way over to your Bluetooth you know, options right here. And you should be able to see the Xbox wireless controller come up. Now in this case, I'm just going to hop out of it and go back into it because I think it glitched out a little bit. So all you're going to want to do is try it again. So I'm going to have to just do it again. So hold down both these buttons at the same time. And as you're doing it, you should be able to see under that specific button, you should be able to see under other devices, the specific controller should be popping up. Again, it could be a little weird. It's a little finicky sometimes. And then you can see it'll eventually come up. All you have to do is go and tap on it. And you should be able to see this pop up. You want to go and click pair. And then that is it. Now, what you can do here is you can make your way back into Call of Duty Mobile and you should automatically see it discover this specific controller. Now, that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. This controller should now be synced with your iPad and then you can just play the game as you normally would. Now, what another thing I'd recommend doing, you can make your way over to your settings of your you know, Call of Duty mobile game and you should be able to see some pop-ups that basically tell you like, hey, you can change your controller output or change settings. But once it's connected, you're pretty much good to go. And that's pretty much it. If any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.